Yo, what it is, y'all? We back with another episode of the Boss What's Talk happening? Podcast. It's Nate here, and as y'all can see, we got a new uh, host. Yes, sir. TK. What's happening? My name is TK. I'm from Birmingham. We back in here now. Yeah. We lit. Yeah, so y'all, this is season three, and I know it's been a minute since we've been on the uh, podcast. As y'all can see, my brother is not here right now. He'll be back soon. We'll let y'all know how that go. But right now, it's me and the TK, and it's still the Boss Talk. Still going to be doing the same things. Uh... You know, talking about the same thing, still the same vibes. You already know what's going on. Just real shit. That's it. Right. That's talking real shit. That's all. That's it. So yeah, um, just like we're not even gonna talk too much. We're gonna get straight into these topics, y'all. Yes, sir. So first things first, I got a question for you. Talk to me. Have anybody ever called you insecure? No. No, for real. That's what's up. That that's good though. I think the only reason why is because I'm I'm very nonchalant. So. You you could never tell if I'm really like if some shit bothering, bothering me, like, you. Okay, yeah. I feel that. I feel that. That's something I had to work on as I got older. Like I've grown to be nonchalant, but that's kind of like a blessing and a curse. Yeah, it is. Like that's it's, that's it's a good, good thing and bad, and bad at the shit. same time. It depends on the situation though. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Have you? I had I I've, I done had people call me. Well, no, it. Listen, okay, so it, it depends on the wording for real. It, it, it really like does. Mexican call like, oh, you insecure. As yeah, well. yeah. I've never been called that because honestly, if I'm thinking like. If I'm being completely honest, nobody ever called me insecure. But me being a human being, I can say I have insecurities that probably could. Like, people didn't hint it at it or something. But I've never been called like, oh, yeah, you insecure, nothing like that. But um, what was my next question? It still it revolved about around uh, insecurities and stuff like that. I got a question. Yeah. Have you ever been in a situation where you felt like your significant other was insecure, but you couldn't really bring it to them? Cause then that just made them overly insecure. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Mm, honestly, I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no. I didn't deal with some insecure partners or something, but like, I don't think it was ever to the point where I couldn't bring it up to them or shit. no shit like that. Like. It, it was, nice. probably, but that's just me though. <laughs> that's just me, nice. me personally. Because if something bothers me, I got a problem with shutting up. I, I'm gonna voice my opinion right then, or after I finish processing it at least. That's how I after am. I'm I finish processing it, yeah. I'm gonna say something. But I just can't like keep letting that shit bother me in my own head. That is true. I'm gonna have to go that say something true. to you. That is true. So I guess that's why that's why I'm gonna say no on that because nine times out of ten, if something was bothering me, even if I felt like you were being insecure, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Hey. Chill out. That yeah, you need to chill. It's none of that. It's none so of that. I ask this because, like, I really feel like nowadays it's a lot of words that's been blown out of portion. And I ain't going to lie. I feel like insecure is one of them. Delusional is one of them. Definitely too. delusional. Is delusional. delusional, toxic, and insecure. Are yeah. Probably all right. the top three for me. Yeah, that's been, like, blown out of proportion. And when I, I got on this insecure topic, it's because I've been doing a little, like, deep diving research on the end. Being a human being, everybody have insecurities. Facts. But does that make me, you insecure? Though? Thank you. Does that make you insecure? <laughs> thank you. That's all oh, I'm saying. To me, that, that don't make you. Make you I, I feel like insecure is a state of being. Yes. Insecurities is a state of having. Thank you feel you. me? It like, ain't. It ain't like oh. Say I'm with this female or something, and we see another female out, and I just so happen to look. Yeah. Does that make them insecure because they felt the way because I looked at that other female? It. You said, does it does it make them insecure because they felt the way because I looked at another female? It depends on how they took the situation. Now, to me, I don't think. Well, it it really depends on them. Now, you you being on the other end of the situation, you could probably look at it like. Uh, I'm trying to make sure I'm answering this right. Because you asking it, does it make them insecure? Yeah, like, does it does it make the, the other does person? Does it label make, them as insecure because it bothered them that I looked at another female? It can go either way. It, it depends on why they why why is it bothering them. All right. It depends on that. So now that's yeah, why I'm getting to what you said. Yeah, yeah that's why I'm getting into the insecure back. shit. So, like, boom, if you say, okay, so boom, yeah. Just like you said, say I'm with somebody. And I look at another girl, they see me looking, and boom, they feel some type of way. Mm-hmm. Now, you voice your opinion on why you feel that type of way. It can go either A, you being insecure, or B, you triggered. Okay. Boom. Okay. That's what I'm saying. That's so, valid. That's valid. That's nah, valid. All right, that's okay. Valid. That's valid. So that's, that, valid. that's what I'm trying to get people right. to understand. That's why I feel like insecure is thrown around like 
it, it's, it's kind of thrown around like too you can't loosely. Feel away. Yeah, like you, it, it's it's okay. It is hot as hell. It's, it's hot as hell everywhere. I like for I real. Let me take this hat off. <laughs> then I, I mean, t- hold on. Let me take my jacket. I need out of film. Man, <laughs> it's, I'm glistening. Oh, Bro, it's sh- hot as hell in here. Listen, hold on. I keep drinking that water. I'm trying to drink. It's too it. hot. Who feel like same day came and slapped the shit out of me? Man, what? Man, go with a frying pan that he was just cooking with. Man. Fresh off God the stove. Listen, so yeah, that's why I'm going into the thing with the insecure because that's why I say I feel like it's thrown around too loosely is because it can go both parts. You got to be willing to like sit and listen and actually understand why a motherfucker is feeling the way that they feel. Exactly. It's not a feeling for no reason. Right. So either, yeah, you are insecure because, I mean, it is like people out here that's really insecure mm-hmm. and then, or B, you could be triggered by something. And so the conversation that I was having this morning, I want to be like, as, so y'all can understand, like, I want to be as like, without yeah without right putting now. without putting too much of the business out there i'm trying to like reword it in some kind of way but basically the situation what basically how you explained it though like another girl walked in boom you looking and you feel some type of way mm-hmm. you feel some type of way boom you tell me that you feel some type of way simply because i can't be looking at somebody else that's insecure that and that's, what that's I was straight up so, insecure. so how do how do we approach that though because mm. Cause it's one thing for you to realize, like, okay, that bothered her. Yeah. But then it's another thing for her to have an attitude and bring it to you. But there's no detail behind it. It's just, oh, you looked at her. Right. Okay, cool. We look at everybody when we walk. Right. And, I, so and at this point, I had, I got eyes. I can't. This you is something I can't control. I can't control, I can't control it. I can't if, you, control. if something walked past me, I'm gonna, my eyes yeah. gonna look like. It's, yeah. And that's just feel, uh, not it's natural human nature. It's <laughs> yeah. normal. So that's it's like, what the fuck? Nature. So it's like, how do you go about that? Is that insecure? Is that now in that aspect? That's definitely insecure. Okay. Now, that's valid. how to that. fix something like that? Um, I'ma leave. Yeah, I feel like that's that's the. That's how I see it. If I can't look, then you need to lose your eyes. Period. Yeah, like that's. If I, can't I feel look, like that's what you asking eyes. me to do. You yes. ask me to lose my eyes. You I, ask I me can't to be great charge, and I don't want to. Yeah, that. I can't do that. I need I to see. I want to see. <laughs> I can't do that. I, I'm see Annie a lot. I'm the type of person. Look, I can't be with an insecure person because. I'm that motherfucker be like, hey, girl, look, look at her ass. Oh, God. Go ahead, we fantasy. gotta look together. Hey, go ahead, <laughs> we gotta fantasy. look together. Hey, and, she cute as hell. Like and me. honestly, if I'm just throwing a fool with you, I'm gonna see what you do first. I'm me gonna too. see. I'm, I'm gonna see how you time. Right. I'm trying. If you hit how me and be like, hey, you? did you see this? Oh, this, we, this, we locked in for like. You my baby. We are locked in. But in that same token, it's like, do it be a setup? Yeah, cause then you gotta think about. Did you set me up to say some shit? Right, you really don't want me to say. You you want me to agree, but you don't want me to get too excited and agree. You know what I'm saying? Like if you see it and you be like, "Hey, babe, look at that girl with the fat ass," and I look and be like, "God damn, now that's too much." Thank you. But if I be like, "Oh, oh, okay, yeah," you'll be like, "Yeah, yeah, cool, yeah." You know what I'm saying? I don't think it need to be like that. We need to be (laughs) we need to be free across the board. Let's just we understand if we got understanding, then there should be no insecurities. If you know that home is home, then there should be no insecurities. Yeah, I should already know what bothers you to the point where she if i do look at her i know facts. how to look at this person facts it's exactly. not it's not like i'm stargazing or some shit like that it's just I'm, i look it's over with. right and that's when Is you it? go around to the other side of the board like scratch the insecurity shit mm-hmm. you actually have a reason that you you know what i'm saying you could probably you been in a, right you could probably in been situation. in a past relationship and had some situation going like that and you know what I'm saying? They probably expl- kicked it to you like we Because I'd have been in a situation like that. Facts, exactly. I'm sitting there with the girl, her <laughs> folks that walked past me, and you fucking with him? Yeah, exactly. I posted with both of y'all ass at that <laughs> That's moment, what I'm but saying. I couldn't because I ain't even realized, like, oh, bitch, you really looking yeah. at him like that. Yeah, I'm for like, real. Like, okay. that's, I done been in a situation. So I understand like that. it from that standpoint. Yeah. But so, when you just mad because I'm looking, mm-hmm. that is crazy. Crazy. That so, mean, bitch, I don't want you to look at nobody. Facts. So, more of the story, y'all. I think y'all really just need to, like, go into deeper depths of, before you call somebody insecure, just see what Figure reason is. Yeah, see what reason is they had to feel the type of way that they feel. Because nine times out of ten, they probably not insecure. They're they not. just triggered. That's it. And honestly, why y'all think communication is the key? No. Let's talk it's not. to, uh, we need to talk to understand. understand. Okay. And not don't talk just be to trying respond. To figure shit. Thank you. Yeah. Don't just be trying to figure shit out just to. Oh, okay, that's why. No, really understand why a motherfucker feel that way because it's not no ill feeling for no reason. People right. go through shit for real, real. and talk. people have different perspectives. Real and shit. talk, so and it's just that shit fact. different. And one thing I learned, like, even when people be triggered by the smallest shit and can't even tell you why they triggered, nine times out of ten, it's probably because they done been through some shit in their past that 
it triggered them so bad that they mentally they forgot completely. about yeah, they it. Yeah, they can't what even. It was. They can't even remember, but they just that know shit. it bothers them. And I ain't gonna lie, I'm speaking on this aspect because hell, I done been in that situation too. Like I done been like through a lot. Like just being triggered <laughs> you by something. Like, yeah, I done yeah, been in yeah. that. Yeah. I done been in a situation that done put me through a lot, and I done got triggered. You know Man. what I'm saying? I done did my head in the face, but it's still some shit that can remind me of old situations. And it'll be like, God damn, like it could have been simply a word or a noise. Yeah. Just in, in any situation that we have and it could just click. And people Facts. don't understand that. That's another thing. People don't understand when shit be triggering you or when you going through something, they don't understand how to communicate to understand. They only exactly. communicate to feel to let you know how they feel mm-hmm. or how you made them feel in that right. situation. Right. That shit not cool at all, bro. Right. That shit not cool. Yeah, yeah. That shit gotta be 50 50 across the board, 100 percent Let go. And I can say though, like you, it, it's also true that you can't like really fault nobody for your triggers. But at the no, same, you, can. you can't fault nobody for your triggers. You can't expect nobody to do you a certain type of way because you have those. Your triggers are always up to you to, you know what I'm saying, fix within yourself. But at the same time, you dealing with somebody that's supposedly fool with you, they gonna respect your trigger. And they gonna try to they, understand exactly. your shit to the point where they know how to maneuver right. and know how to help you through your triggers and Facts. how to avoid that shit or either grow out of that shit. Facts. Ain't no, ain't no in between. Facts. Straight ain't up. Straight up. This is how I see it. Right. Career. I feel like that was a great idea. That, that yeah, topic that alone, that, like that, that shit alone was good as hell. Like that that shit just put chills on my oh. <laughs> But I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I've never been called insecure. Yeah. I, I can't really think of a time where I've been called insecure either, but like. I've been called the total opposite. What the opposite? Well, fuck. yeah, like, I, been, I have crazy. been called that. I have been called that. But it's the thing, though. No. People, people want you to show, like, all these different emotions when they don't give a fuck exactly like have you ever been called nonchalant well you already said you ain't been called insecure but like well okay so this question do you think you can be nonchalant and insecure at the same time i feel like you could be insecure and you could try to to be be nonchalant nonchalant. (laughs) because you cannot be two in the same at the same time there's no way I i can sit there and feel this right now and say you don't still care. say I don't give a fuck. Yeah. But okay. I can pretend like I don't care. And right. I know inside I'm righteous feeling that. And Thanks. that's that's mostly what it be when you being nonchalant though. That's true. That is because true. you yeah. just you you don't want your feelings hurt. Like me personally, I don't know how to take it when I get my feelings hurt. Everybody gotta die. <laughs> if I'm lying right now, I'll, <laughs> come get me. No, if I get my feelings hurt, then no. It's mm-hmm. not it's not fun for nobody. And I'm not gonna do you bad no type of way. I'm gonna make your life hard as fuck. I understand. Do not I let know. me know where you stay. Don't let me know what kind of car you drive. Don't let me know none of that. I'm coming to your job, flipping all that shit over. I'm towing your car to your mama house. And bitch, if you come outside in your car on bricks, yes, I got the ties. I'm so weak, bro. Don't. I, I just, I don't know how to do that. So that's why I got to be nonchalant, because I know when it's my turn, I don't play mm. fair. I don't play fair at all. And that, I had to, I don't even know how to, I don't even know how to say, like, I, it was just something I had to goddamn work on. Like I, I'm literally still working on this shit to this day. I believe so it's like, cool though. It's um, cool. It take time. It do. It, it take a lifetime. It, it take, take the rest of your it life for real. Like I, I could say, I ain't got that shit mastered yet. But I'll mm-hmm. hey. And it seemed like every Channel time you, that. In, man, I'm trying to tell you, it, it seemed like every time you enter a new phase of your life, it's something it's else something you got to work on. So it's like when you feel like you're at a point of, oh, okay, I done finally made it through this, boom, it's something else here goes something else, and you got to goddamn process your way through that shit, too. I learned how to maneuver through man, that shit, too. Now to you trying to figure out um, how to fix that mental state, too, when you just got this fucked up mental Facts. state. Come on, bro. And when it comes to, like, that nonchalant shit, like, I've, I definitely been called nonchalant, but it's still, like, it's still in a, in a way like, damn, because I'm trying to go back to what you, it's something that you you had said that made me think about this, being nonchalant. And you said, well, yeah, you said in your oh, aspect, yeah. everybody got to die and shit like that. Yeah, but me, like when I'm, when it come to me and me being nonchalant, when I get my feelings hurt, like, I probably, I probably shut down. I shut down too, I but shut before down. I shut down, I'm finna fuck everything. And that's what I'm saying. Cause I have, to I have like, no choice but to shut down because I if I do, I'm gonna end up being just like that. Oh, and no. I didn't have my shelf. That's step one. <laughs> I what didn't have my shelf. That's step one. Mind you, y'all, like I don't know if you want to tell them your age, but I'm twenty. I'm twenty six. I'm finna be twenty seven. 
22. Yeah, so 22. me, we got like a four year, four, five year age difference. So I ain't gonna care. When I was that age, I was doing that shit. Like, I kid you not. I remember when I was in college, I put this girl tires on flats. Ooh, I swear. You crazy. I promise see, you. See, no, put, no, no, I'm not. Put them, I, I'm not gonna damage your property. I should have <laughs> took the, I should have took the tires. <laughs> I should have took the tires. I, I don't know why I ain't think about that. That sound better. I should have put them hoes on bricks. <laughs> but hey. I flattened all her damn tires. I, I think I left one. <laughs> I left one. <laughs> ain't gonna cover that. I love one cover tire, that. but I flattened three of them hoes. And like looking back, I'm like, damn, bro, I really did some crazy shit. But like, I just know what my anger will take me. So my my only defense mechanism is to be nonchalant because if I let it go anywhere past that, I just know what my anger will take me. That is true. So like, yeah, that's just, yeah I just that's can't. Valid. I can't. I can't do that shit no more. <laughs> but no, I'm just telling you. Listen, if y'all think a motherfucker ain't got time. I have time. And do not thing. fuck with me. Do I'm not have me in the aspect of when I'm making time for your way. Cause when I make time, oh yeah, it's, I'm definitely gonna fuck your shit up. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm a goddamn. Yeah, y'all might yeah, well yeah, go yeah. ahead and call the authorities, bitch, cause I'm on the way. Bitch, mm. I'm on my way. Oh shit. What? Uh, that's why I try not to get mad. I do leave a lot of shit and like that's the thing, like, I won't even be mad when I do this shit. If I feel like you fuck me over, you play with me. I'm gonna do that when I straight face. Yeah, when I might do it with a smile on my face. Well, I, if I get listen. the smiling and laughing, bitch, <laughs> you know your car finna be in somebody's tow yard. I literally walked up to that girl car, and I knew she was right there. I knew she was. You she did was what in you the house. Out there? She was in the house. This motherfucker crazy. She was in the house. I literally walked up to her, knocked on the door. She did not come to the door. I said, "All right, I got something for your ass. Since you wanna be here so bad, I'm gonna make sure your ass never leave. <laughs> your ass gonna be stuck at home for yeah. a minute, bro. I flattened all three of them motherfuckers while she was right there. I kid you not. I knew she she was looking at me do it out the window. <laughs> I couldn't escape that shit if she wanted to call the police. It don't even matter. But I was just that mad though. All I was, had to do was but take my a picture. face. Got my face was straight as hell the whole time. Like, and, and as soon as I got done doing that, I left. <laughs> I left. I just you left. left. I left. I just did. I do fuck shit, fuck I, shit up and leave. Like when I, I do fuck shit up and leave. It seemed like after I get done doing whatever it is that it worked me up to do the shit, my my pressure is gone. I'm done. Like I don't have nothing else to do after that. I probably gonna smoke. You know what I'm saying? Go chill. I'm gonna act gonna like ain't shit happen. I'm gonna <laughs> smoke on the way down. Probably do that too. <laughs> but I promise you, this how I see it. A motherfucker gonna have a bad day until I'm done with them having a bad fucking day. So your bad day probably won't end to goddamn 2025. But bitch, you don't know what hit you. God you don't know damn. what hit you. God damn. Man, I'm, I, I I'm had, still I making bitches ma- my I'm still making bitches life hard now to this day. And I ain't talking <laughs> in three years. Like I swear to God. <laughs> bitch, you will never forget me. I done had I'm my gonna show. make sure you you feel everything I feel. Cause my anger different. That shit. And that's why I don't I, like to bring it out. And I'm not I do confrontational. Not like I do not like to argue. I don't like to talk. None of that. Is Hell it, no. I, and this how I see it. We all adults. We all grown as fuck. And I understand common sense ain't coming no more. Hell no. Not at all. <laughs> but if not you know all. right from wrong and you know you didn't want me to do this to you, so why mm-hmm. the fuck would you do it to me? Facts. Don't. Facts. Come on. Facts. It's all about understanding. God, if damn. I put myself in your shoes and I understand what the fuck is what. And I feel like you can put yourself in my shoes. Right. You can understand not, how I feel. And that's another problem. I never cross you like that. That's another topic that I want to talk about. I'm glad you said that because that goes into the deeper part of understanding. Mm-hmm. I was talking to this. I was talking about this to somebody else too, and I told them people only go as far as they want to understand. Yes. They don't ever. So they understand. Yeah, so so what they understand. Fits their criteria. Facts like. You, th- as soon as they be like, oh, this is enough for me. I get this, and this is where I want to stop at. They're not going to look no further no than further. that. Even though I it's can't more stand people shit. like that shit. You got to think deeper than that shit. Just because that's where you want to stop, you understand that? That don't mean that's where that shit stop at. Keep the fuck going. Keep the fuck going. That's just like the damn weatherman. The weatherman told you it was going to be 92 degrees outside yesterday, He right? should have said 102. But he, said, this right, shit but he did, though. The heat <laughs> index is 103. You All you motherfuckers heard was, let's go to the pool. No, bitch, we finna fall out. Pay yeah, attention. Pass the fuck out. Understand what the fuck this it's man said? He morning. said, stay in the house. Thank yeah, you. He said, stay in the house. Y'all went to the pool. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. That's just like me telling you I about you passed right. out going to my car. I got in the car and almost stopped breathing. I could not, I couldn't even sit there. Listen. We broke a sweat walking in the door and we was bro. right there. <laughs> it's one thing in the summertime, well, in the wintertime when you go warm your car up. But you in the summer having to go cool, cool your, your car, car down? down? That shit yeah. crazy. That shit crazy. I can't help. No, and then you be mad at fuck when you be like, damn, I should have went outside and cool damn car. I should have been turned this bitch on. Because when I went out there and cranked that bitch up, I literally almost stopped breathing in the car. Like See, that I would have cranked that bitch over right back in the house. Right back in the house. Hell no. Nah. 
But yeah, when it comes to understanding, yeah, y'all gotta look past your own level of understanding. It goes way deeper than that. For it real, for real. Does. Like just because this is where you wanna stop your understanding on, you need to like and that's what people problem is. That's why they so stuck in the in the mindset and the environment and the shit that they stuck in because they, alone, they so close from they Yeah. Right. They so close minded and only wanna like just stop at their own level, but the shit go way deeper than that. Once you start to like actually tap into, that's why I actually listen to when people talk when they got like issues and like any other thing, anything. But it, it don't be even matter. Deeper than the yeah. actual situation every time. Facts. It, it don't even be about the situation. Facts. It can be about principles. It can be about the situation. Like you just gotta be able to understand. Or simply that. something triggered them from that situation Facts. and it went deeper. Is is it's a level of understanding you gotta have. Like niggas don't listen. They yeah. just they hear you, but they not listening. They just wanna they just wanna like respond basically. They they be ready to respond. But that's why that's why I approach I approach different situations. Like, what you want? You want comfort or you want a solution? Or do you just want somebody right. to just sit here and just listen to you? Right. Like, I can that's sit here and roll my blunt and just listen to you talk all day. Now, once you tell me you want some advice, make sure you be ready for that advice. Now, because when I give you that advice, it's gonna be blunt, Fact. straight, to, straight the point, to the point, and uncut. Come on, it's gonna be raw Real as hell. Talk. Is it you gonna take it or you gonna leave it? And That's I it. do not mind hurting your feelings with that because the world don't give a fuck about hurting exactly. your feelings. Exactly. You gonna exactly. lose so much shit out here. But get what? Them motherfuckers do not care because guess what? They still moving, they still making their money, they still they still going. That should've never stopped. Life don't stop for nobody. So yeah. it's like say that shit to the chin up. What? What yeah. you gonna do? Oh. Figure that shit out. But it's all a level of understanding though. If people just took time to understand like what people be coming from. It'll change so many different situations and relationships. That shit bad. Yeah. So, <laughs> listen, I done had a couple of topics. I don't know if I want to goddamn talk about this. Let me see. To... Okay, listen, I got this friend, right? <laughs> I told her to send me some topics and shit. She is very adamant about, uh, <laughs> yeah, you see. <laughs> she is very adamant about studs with kids and studs that sneaking around uh what i want to start go ahead you gonna take it over you seen it <laughs> you seen it gonna take it over <laughs> they said we talking about these fake gay mm-hmm. motherfuckers mm-hmm. all right now hit me out now hit me out now I don't discriminate against nobody. nobody. What you like, your purposes, <laughs> none of that shit. But I, let me tell you what I, I think of how I feel. <laughs> this is how I feel. Listen, it's one thing to be a female and you've messed with a dude, you had a baby, and then you want to mess with me. Okay, mm-hmm. cool. You didn't try your shit, you had your shit, you right. out of it. Cool, but it's another thing to tell these folks you gay. <laughs> but behind they back, they find out you cheating with a nigga. Yeah. Now, mind you, Bitch, I, don't you know, gotta go. I don't know if you seen, read the contest clues now. Who she was dealing with was another stud. Oh, yeah. Now, that's another thing. You yeah. motherfucking studs that be out here sneaking and sneaking, sneaking and digging. <laughs> Come closer. Come closer. Smack <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, sit now. Figure out what you want to do with your life. Real Love something. yourself first, and then figure out what you want to do. Because, look, I, I ain't, look. Now, once again, we're going to say this. We ain't got nothing I'm to not do. Whatever you choose. Whatever you, you choose. Me. It just, you but know But you giving, you giving the guys a bad name. Yeah. Real Sorry. It's a, We're not a collective, though, guys. We're hell not a collective. Hell no. Because I've been like embarrassed. The same shit. I've been embarrassed every time I get on Facebook. I but I didn't got to the point where it's like, I'm no label. Don't call me none of that. I'm TK. I'm just me. And a I'm nigga better me. not fuck with me. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm trying to tell you. Listen, I don't like. I said I don't got no problems with none of that stuff either. But I I'm just saying. But that's that's pick actually what you want to do and stay there. And if you, my thing about it is, it's one thing when you sneak into, but if you just live in your truth, ain't nobody gonna say nothing to you. Cause there's so, so many people that can actually live in yeah, truth and they do that. And facts. guess what? People love them to death. It's all about some, being a hundred with yourself, though. Exactly. That's why they judge you because you're not cause being a hundred. I know some studs that actually fool with dudes. I and actually fine. do. And I'm because you're still mind. a female at the end Fact. of the day. You still a female. You have your choice. Exactly. You you probably got to just preference and clothes that you want to wear. You know what I'm saying? Which and, is cool. And I actually know somebody that like identifies as a stud. Like she calls herself a stud. She don't wear no girl clothes at all. I got dreads. I know, all yeah, that I know shit. I she know fools I with dudes. She really do. And dudes fool with her too. But I mean, shit. Like it's all about your vibe, and yeah, your energy. So fact. people just gotta understand if you keep it a buck. 
want about you know fuck right. Don't doing. nobody care what you're doing if you man. But honest. you out here hiding and, and making it seem like you more you more embarrassed about it than everybody else. Yeah, for everybody gonna clown your ass. But I think this is my problem with it. It's, it's a health issue. It definitely you can't is be a fucking this nigga and then come up and fuck this bitch. That's hey, disgusting. That's, that's nasty. You can't be obvious as in and out of air. No, bro. No. And, and conversations definitely got damn kill all STDs and all that shit. Yes. All you, you got to do is tell me. All you got to do is just say something. <laughs> say tell something. Tell me what you're doing. I promise you, nine times out of ten, when I'm single and I'm doing what I do. Everybody I is literally doing the same shit. Sex. I have open communication. I'm going to let you know. Like, not necessarily tell, telling you all my business or who I fool but with I'm, and everything. I'm but you're going to know. About what's going yeah, on. Yeah, what, what I got going on and shit like that. I'll, I'll, and 12 times out of 10, thing. if I'm fucking her, I'm not fucking her over there. So Real it talk. does not matter. Real it talk. does not matter. When you single, do you have more than uh, more than one partner or somebody that you fool with? Can you talk to more than one person? That's a tricky question. Yeah, it is. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, <laughs> it's like, it's like, <laughs> like, shit, we got, we got more yeah, watching this shit. Uh, <laughs> but nah, 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 nah. Not even tricking in that aspect, <laughs> That's tricky because my attention span is short as hell. I, no. I don't have time to talk to multiple people. I feel Somebody that. will get forgotten. I feel but that. But when I'm single, I also won't just focus on one person. Though. So yeah. it's like, I'm going to fuck with you when I can, fuck with you when I can't. Yeah, I feel that. Mm, I, feel I might that. fuck with you this week. I might fuck with you next month. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I feel but that. I always come out the gate and I let people know what it is and what it's not. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm Straight not going to. I'm not going to. It don't matter. I, now that we on this topic too, now that we on this topic too, I come out the gate telling people like what it is, what it's not, what I'm expecting, like what I'm here for type shit. Yeah. And people don't hear that. They sure don't. They bro. go past Even that, if they agree. And they go straight to the, well, you doing that, 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 we together. No, right. bitch, yeah, I said we're exactly. not. We chilling. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I remember when the girl told me. Did that mean was me and her was together? I literally start sweating right there. Cause like, like how? Cause why? <laughs> what the fuck is you talking about? Not even, not even how. Why? I'm like, what do you I mean? What is going you, on? When? When did you when? put this shit together? <laughs> that that was not that in shit. the agreement. Hell That's not no. what we talked about. That's, I do that shit too though. Like if I'm starting to fool with you and, and like, I, first of all, I fool with people that go out the gate like from the beginning and ask me what my intentions are. Cause if you ask me that shit first, I know you probably on the same type of time that I'm on. Probably. I'd have had an instance where a motherfucker asked me that, and they definitely was not on that time. Literally. But I'm glad you asked. But I'm glad you asked. I'm glad you asked. <laughs> I'm glad you asked. <laughs> but yeah, like anybody that asked me, like, what's your, uh, like, what's your intention from the start, or if I asked them that, like, I appreciate that because now hey. we can go and have this conversation. We can go and put this shit on. Because nine times out of ten, I'm either tell you if I want if I want some serious or if I don't, or like what I'm willing to do and what I'm not, <laughs> and what we can go and what we ain't. <laughs> so shit. And I'm gonna tell you like, two places we can't go. Nowhere. Okay. Can't go nowhere. <laughs> That's it. So, like, after I tell you that, I'm giving you your opportunity to either agree or mm-hmm. disagree. If Maybe. you disagree, cool. We can be friends. We can do whatever. Now, if you agree, I'm a, I'm a, you holding up your part just like I'm going to hold up my part. Now, at any time you go outside of that. That's on you. And people that don't is understand on that, though. Yes. I think that, that's the problem. When we have a conversation, now, I always tell people after we get done doing that little rundown, now, if anything changes, if your feelings change about anything, let, let me, me know. know. That's your fault if you don't. Because I'm going to tell you after you let me know where well, I'm at with it, too. People just assume because they feel that way. That you, you supposed to feel that? Way. Hell no. And not even that. People don't understand, like, we both can feel the same way, but it just be situation. Yeah. That shit's situational. We, and, yeah. we might be Time in two different be, thank yeah, you. We time might be, two, be bad. in two different spots in the, in yeah. mentally. That yeah. shit ain't going to work. Hell yeah. I feel that. I done and had a situation like that, that before, too. And people that came to me and asked me my intentions and still flipped that shit on me like I just mm-hmm. fucked them over. Hell yeah, bro. Like, I, I done had a motherfucker literally tell crazy. me I done wasted their time and all that shit. First of all, no time is No, crazy. when college girl told me I broke her heart. <laughs> Cause she went through my no 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 let me tell you run that shit back the bitch stole my phone we all outside look for my phone she helped me look for my phone right oh that's a typical nigga drunk as hell so me I'm drunk as fuck I say fuck the phone I don't give a fuck back the phone I'm like shut up and go to sleep I worry about it tomorrow you feel me I go upstairs my friend Chris she she like we gotta bleep that out friend Chris she like. Put the phone in the bushes and act like she found it. I'm weak. I'm weak. So I we go to sleep. The goddamn head I then I then look. I go lay down. I go to sleep. So she lay down too. Three o'clock in the morning, to be crying. I'm like, I'm weak, man. She crazy. I'm like, you good? 
she going through the phone. <laughs> she had already went through it outside. When she when we was looking for the phone, when we said it was lost or stolen, she was already looking through the phone. Oh, Ree, bro. That's she so was crazy. already looking through the phone. That mm. junk. Well, never tell you, these phone situations get motherfuckers in trouble for real. They can really get people hurt. One thing for about real. it, I never go through nobody's phone. I don't, you I ain't got to worry about me going through your phone, your watch. So right. I done had my phone went through, my watch and my I done iPhone. had my laptop. And guess what I'm going to tell you every time? I done had my laptop went through swell, swell, swell. And guess what I'm going to tell you every time? What did you find? I'm shit. I mean, apparently you found it somewhere you want to look for. And oh, I'm going to tell you again every time. I don't delete nothing. So whatever you found, you probably found something. Yeah, 2000 facts. goddamn sell I had a girl literally lock me in the bathroom. I didn't know what the hell was going on. I thought some freaky shit. Look, I swear to God, I thought some freaky shit was finna happen, bro. The girl was already it drunk. Just tricked you. She locked me in the bathroom. Literally, like, okay, boom, she was talking to me or whatever. Boom. She started showing me shit that she seen on my laptop. Started beating my ass, y'all. I swear to God. I that was my first abuse. That would have been the first and last ass whooping I ever got. Did that you lock me in here? She <laughs> locked me in the, in the bathroom. Was a small space, bro. Like, oh, I, yeah, she, it was she in the, set bro, that shit up so she good. She set that shit up real smooth. I didn't know what the hell was going on, but I was with it at the time. What's her sign? She, oh, damn, what, uh, August. Leo? Is that Leo? August. It's the end of August, though. Mm-mm. She a Virgo. Virgo. End of August, like what, past the 21st? Yeah. That's Virgo. Virgo. Yeah, glad. I'm so Man, happy. Lisa I thought she was going to say Leo for real. I'm a Leo. Nah, because Leo, Leo early. Yeah, yeah. Leo early in the month. So, yeah, she a Virgo then. But, yes, bro, when I tell you, she locked me in the bathroom, star. Like, she, I fell in the shower. I had to, like, turn over, push her in the shower just so I can get out the shower and get out the fucking room. Like This is some guy. Like, the shit was crazy, bro. That was the first time I ever, like, I done had female put their hands on me and shit. But that was the first time I done had somebody literally try to, like, beat my ass Ooh. for real. Like, I ain't when it come to like domestic violence and abusive relationships and shit. I, I ain't never experienced that shit until that day. I'm not up for that. I don't like the fighting stuff, but I will smack the shit at you, bro. Keep your hands to yourself. And that's, that's all the I thing. Like when it come to me, like I'm real selective with my hitting and shit. Like me I, too. I didn't got real. I didn't. I, I ain't gonna say I'm real selective. I have gotten real selective. Like I have gotten real. Selective. Like it's a choice. Yeah, like mm-hmm. it's a choice. First of all, when I was growing up, I ain't, I only fought. Okay. I only fought boys. I fought mostly boys. Like when it comes to my cut cu- my cousins my and brother, all that shit. Man. Yeah, like you used to bully the fuck out of me. My cousin they were mostly boys and shit like that. And the people that I've been around, like in my family, you ain't really hang around your siblings. You hang around yeah. your cousins that was around your age and all the cousins that was around my age are boys. I'm the only girl. Mine too. So shit, I'm the oldest girl in my in as far as like my cousin, I'm the oldest girl. So I fought my cousins and shit growing up. So when it came to school and shit, like before I before I got like a stud or whatever, like I did use to fight girls then, but then my strength started to get a little. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, I had to stop hitting. Yeah. I, I really stopped hitting people for real. Yeah. For real. Like I had to stop. That weight room go crazy for yes. real. Yes. Like after basketball and all and that shit. And the anger shit. get you, anger get you all tight. Yes. I'm just like, I remember like I did hit that girl one time. I like her lip and shit was, oh, I had, I couldn't do that shit no more. <laughs> I felt bad. They gonna lock your ass up. I felt, but she hit me first. first oh, first. you she, hit her first. I got hit, a lawyer. She hit me damn first. I hit her ass back, but like her shit was, it was only one hit though. She, it was damn. literally one hit. She hit me, boom, damn. I hit her back real quick. And her shit was like literally fucked up, busted. And I, I felt bad afterwards. Cause, nah, fuck I that. I would've just hit me. But damn yeah, though, like, that. that's probably when I realized my strength for real, for real. And I literally had to stop. Fight. I, I had to stop fighting. I was real selective when it came to fighting. So don't. When I got a little older, I think the last fight I got in, I was in college. I was probably about twenty, twenty one. She was another stud, and she was in the military. I ain't never. I can sit here like I put my hand on the Bible, yeah. I have never lost a fight in my life. But that day, I you almost just did. I got damn military. I, yes, that they day I almost did, own. bro. Uh, that was bags the, of rocks and shit. That was the only fight I probably you almost lost. Really? But the fact of the matter is, I won. <laughs> I beat a motherfucker that was in the military. <laughs> that is a W. That's a big W because I know. That's what y'all got in the military. She, she gonna ask me out here about regular civilians. <laughs> oh, regular. And first of all, that's I should go to the goddamn authorities anyway. Mm-hmm. Cause they ain't supposed to use their hands. Me. They ain't supposed to, they ain't, like, motherfuckers that do karate or take taekwondo, military Boxing. motherfuckers. Hell yeah, you ain't supposed to be fighting nobody. That's, That's it. Your hand fight. is a threat, nigga. I, I could have went to the authorities on this motherfucker, but hell no. Nah, like, for real, she broke my nose. That was probably the only fight that I came close to losing. We went three rounds. 
three mm-hmm. rounds. Because first of all, the first one, they ended up getting broken up. She wanted to go a second one. The second round, she hit me dead in my shit. That was the first time I ever felt the punch. And I know that bit was leaking. Man, it was leaking. It was. That was the first time I ever felt the punch. That was the first time anybody ever made me, like, bleed when it come to a fight or any of that shit. My shit was dead ass leaking. The moment you hit me in my nose and it break, bitch, everybody do it. It was Open over. The clear the air. Listen, it was over clear right after that, bro. Bitch they broke the fight up, and they was like, "Nanny, no, you bleeding that fuck that shit." Open if I go home and I, <laughs> if I go in this room and I tell my mama that I just got the fight and we I got my motherfucking nose broke, man, everybody in this league. I said we finna go another motherfucking round. It's gonna be the third one. And I'm finna it. whoop your ass, and we finna go. That's it. <laughs> We, Bottom they, line. they said, okay, bet. Like, cause at this point it was a crowd out there. Oh, I'm, shit. I'm literally boxing at this point in front of people. So like, shit, they got around. They said, if y'all gonna fight, fight on the concrete. Boom. We moved from the gas, got on the concrete. Boom. But mind you, my nose still leaking. I, I'm still going. Oh, I, like, I, I just refuse to lose though. I refuse to lose. I'm not finna do that shit. I ain't going out like that. I'm no, not. Bitch, that shit did stun me a little cause I ain't never got my motherfucking nose hit. I ain't never got hit in the face. I ain't I no got my nose hit. That shit hurt bad. That shit do hurt. That shit hurt that bad. Shit and hurt. Especially when it's bleeding, that shit hurt yeah, bad. You feel like you finna man, die. Choking up in the head thing. Me and her got to find that last third time. I got her ass in the air. Ooh, it's over. Yeah, but you're done. You're done. You are done. You're done. <laughs> you are not getting back up. As soon as I get you on that ground, oh, yeah. it's over. Facts. You're, you're not done. getting back up. The only re- the only way you're gonna get back up is, is a motherfucker coming. Facts. They gonna have to come and get me up off of your ass. Either I'm going you gonna go to sleep. I gotta send God Himself down here to grab me off I'm this bitch. I'm not lying. I'm not hell no. Yeah, that was the last fight I, I was in. But that shit goes crazy. Oh hell that shit no. Goes crazy. Oh. What time is it? It's hot. I can't believe it. It's hot as shit. Uh, what? You got some more topics? Damn. What was it? What was it? What was it? I forgot what we was talking about before then that brought us up into this, but. Oh, domestic violence. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they asked me, what is a deal breaker in a relationship for you? Mm. I know cheating can't be the deal breaker. Nah. It, I ain't say nah. I don't want you to. I don't want motherfuckers to look at this and be like, be like you cheat. Yeah, no, hell no. Cause I whoop ass. Ass to grass. You hear me? Yeah, I'm, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm just the, saying that's not really the deal. microwave. It shouldn't be as normalized that it is, but I'm not gonna say it's a deal breaker. That's just that. But like mm-hmm. I, I say like, uh, uh, like a straight up deal breaker. Mm, I ain't gonna lie. Probably be smoke cigarettes. I don't like cigarettes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't like cigarettes. I can handle a lot of things, but I can't handle cigarettes. I can handle blacks. Only I can handle blacks if I can handle cigarettes. I don't uh, think it'll bother me. Just don't, don't blow like, that shit in my face. I don't like, well, yeah. And if you smoke, you smoke it outside. I don't like the smell of them. I don't like the smell of cigarettes. Oh, I can't like, I don't, I don't like the smell of them. Them hoes bother my nose. But I can't, like, I can't think of one off the top of my head. Because I'm real, like, I'm a real open and understanding person. Me I can too. deal with a lot of shit as long as it's not, like, fucking with me. When it as long as you working on it within yourself and it ain't fucking with me, once it gets to the point where it's fucking with me and my peace, gotta let you go. But that's like, that's the deal breaker for me. I feel like, cause me, I don't question stuff in the in relationship. Well, I don't question shit, period. Cause yeah. it's, it's like I got this understanding with myself that shit. If you believe in God, everybody not faithful to God. So how the fuck I'm expect anybody to be faithful to me? I don't expect you to tell me the truth a hundred percent all the time. None of that. But what I, I do expect, either, exactly, yeah. but what I do expect, if I come to you and I ask you something specifically, be honest. and you bullshit me about that, and I know you bullshit me about that, and then I get the proof that you bullshit me about that, yeah. that's your ass. Yeah, we'll I never come back from that. Yeah. Not because you lied, not because you bullshit me, but for the simple fact, you play with my intelligence, and bitch, don't do that. I can feel that. You don't do that. Yeah, I, I can agree with that. That's the only thing. And then I feel like that, that fucks with my peace, because then it's like, shit. I made myself feel crazy trying to be like, I yeah. believe what you said, but whole time I was right. So now you didn't fuck with me mentally. If you can do that, once you do that, oh, yeah. Yeah, once you start fucking with my mental, you're yeah, done. you done. But like, cheating, it wouldn't be a deal breaker for me. Oh. For the simple fact, shit, everybody cheat. You gonna do what you wanna do anyway, you gone. Yeah. Not, well, well I, I don't say everybody cheat, but I I just got the mindset like, you gonna do what you wanna do anyway, you gone. It probably, I ain't gonna lie, cheating probably will be a deal breaker for me. Depending. Only, yeah, depending it's situation. though. Now say if like say if you cheated and you probably don't cheat again and I don't never find out about it. But eventually later on down the line, I probably do find out about it. Don't let me find out later on down the line. Uh, you <sighs> your ass is gray. It's one or two things <laughs> that's gonna happen. One like, or two things. Listen. 
either I'm going to take that shit to heart. I'm going to take that shit to heart. And I'm going like, to cut up and then I'm going to leave. Or I'm going to take that shit to heart. I'm going to be like, you good. And bitch, you better sleep with one eye open. You don't know. You don't know if I'm doing you bad. You don't That's know what, what I'm gonna do. You That's don't know my next move. Just do not trust me. If I do find some shit out after the fact, exactly. Trust me after That's that. why I say it might be a deal breaker. Because me personally, like if I found out you cheated, I don't. I don't even know what I do. I can probably goddamn. You know what I'm saying? I think like, it's a situation. I situation. probably. I don't know. I'm trying to see if I'm mature enough. <laughs> I don't know. I might not be that. Damn I don't mature. think I'm mature enough. I don't know. I don't. I might not be that damn mature. Cause like, I don't know. Like, okay, so boom. It, I guess it, you're right. It's situational. Okay, so boom. If I'm single, well, not single, but if I'm in a relationship, not married, and you cheat, I'll probably be a little bit more lenient than I was if I was married. Now, if I'm married and you cheat, I'm gone. You got so shit. So that's part. You're dead. You're dead. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. I ain't gonna just go get nobody else. You did. dead. <laughs> what? You're dead. The pastor up. said it himself. For Till death do us part, my guy. <laughs> and I'm like, when it comes to marriage, like I play about a lot of shit. I ain't gonna play about that. One thing about me, like when it comes when it come to marriage and shit, like I do not take that shit lightly. I feel like past generations and like older times, they it's just different. They actually married for love. I ain't looking for that shit when it comes to goddamn I'm marriage. Married for loyalty, loyalty, loyalty business mindset. Big. I want to, I want to see how you. It's like, always gonna be finances. home and state. It's home and yeah. state. If we could, if we can go into a marriage and we can separate those two and, and understand, like those two can never like come in together. Right. Cause that's just like bringing business with pleasure. Yeah. So yeah. if we understand home and state, then we good. Right. Then we understand regardless of what, we gotta come home to each other. We'll never fuck off. Yeah. State is we gonna handle business. We gonna we gonna make sure that we keep home straight. So business ain't gonna be fucked right. up. Right. Keep that shit together. It's just that simple. So when it when it comes to like, if you cheat and let's see, like you actually tell me. You know what I'm saying? Like, you tell me, like, oh, I, I, I did this and this, that, and the third. Hell, I'm going to respect the fact that you felt like you can come to me and tell me that shit. I might, I might. I mean, you ain't good. I respect Yeah, it. you ain't good, but you in a better position but that I you would have been in. I my mindset. I'm going to be, I ain't even worried about the fact that you told me, bitch. I'm trying to figure out why you did it. I'm, that's going to be a question. It's going to be why. And every when? time they answer why, it's going to be like, but why? Because, <laughs> <laughs> like, why would you fuck with me like that? Uh, I, I probably respect uh, Yeah It's just hard Why? to talk about that Because like You would never know What you would do Until you in that mm-hmm. situation But I'm just trying to see Like I'm trying to put it To the past situation And shit And every time it's I, just like, I fail Why? Even in my past situation Where I got cheated on I did the absolute most You did? Like I turned up I turned up I turned up probably one time I turned the hell up Like I turned up one time and I only turned up because the bitch turned up on me. How you mad at me? Because you cheated on me and you And you me. got caught. <laughs> then the bitch run me off the road when I come back from out of town. Oh, hell How you nah. catch me on that's, the back road? Yeah, that's crazy. So now it's game on. That's crazy. Your baby daddy will never be happy. <laughs> your boyfriend will never be happy. Your side nigga will never be happy. I'm so weak. Yes, your side nigga locked up because of me. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. We're going to talk about that later. <laughs> I'm sorry. To see you about sorry. <laughs> We gotta talk about bring your bitch ass out here anyway. I don't know. That shit is crazy. Yeah, I gotta tell you about that shit. That shit yeah. Is <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because of me. Yeah. But yeah, I'll probably yeah. be a little bit more. I'll probably be a little bit more lenient. But I don't. I don't know. I be having to accept my karma though because I know how I was. That's another well, thing too. When I, I, I was in high school, shit. I do accept going that up shit. Until like, I just feel like, how long does it last though? Because I know I ain't did that much. But shit, no, bro. that's why. I, that's why I say I put myself in other people's shoes because I already know the dirt yeah. that I didn't did, Facts. and I know the dirt that I can do. So right. that's why I, do, I just exactly. don't fuck with me because I know what I'm capable of type shit. But I already be knowing what shit be happening. Like my first heartbreak, I had my first heartbreak ever when I got to college. That was your first one. My very first heartbreak. That's what's up. <laughs> very <laughs> first easy. heartbreak. You know how sad that is? Well, it is sad, but that's I mean, you at least fuck. you was older. Shit, my first, well, I ain't gonna say Hold that. Hold on, no, I ain't even gonna say that. Nope, it was eighth grade, my first boyfriend. Shit, a nigga ain't even break my heart. My first heart break was But get what, he didn't even break my heart. <laughs> my dad told me that uh, him and his and the dude, dad, was best friends. And I'm like, oh, we can't be together. Oh, shit. Now I'm ready to hurt. Now that's I too like close. girls. Now I like girls. Yeah, I'm that's over too it. close. No, it's too close. It's too close, <laughs> But nah, my very first heartbreak for real, for real, was college. And I knew when I went through that shit, now the first day, I was trying to play that shit cool. I'm like, all right, cool. No, bitch. That shit not cool. Nah, Second day, I'm like, I'm sitting there thinking, like, ain't no fucking way I ain't did shit wrong with this bitch. I'm like, 
Bitch, you ain't shit. You ain't never been shit. That's why I ain't <laughs> She just did to you what you didn't do to everybody else back then. So I'm it's so okay. Weak. Like, well, chin up, chest out. Yeah. And once I figure that shit out, oh, bitch. Facts. When I, bro, it's, it's like, I ain't cool. Gonna lie. I think it took me about two females to realize I was going through See? karma. It took me about two. Why was college. it two for me? Two? Yeah. What the fuck? I, I had to understand. Back to back. Back to, back to fucking, fucking back. back. The, the, the back motherfucker back. that uh that uh went through my phone, stole the phone. Oh, That's what I'm telling. Shit. Back yeah. to back. I ended up, bitch. Let me see. It, it might just ain't shit, bro. Oh my god. I still don't understand why I'm gay. Why I like girls? I don't understand. Why I hate. Bitches. I cannot stand female that get on my motherfucking nerves. I I don't like to be around them too much. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'd rather be around niggas. <laughs> I ain't gonna care. But I want to be around here loving a female. Yeah. That shit crazy. I'm um, sick. That junk crazy. I don't know, y'all, but I'm happy. Like, honestly, me being like, I'm masculine presenting a stud, whatever y'all want to call it, because I know everybody got different names for shit. But, like, me being masculine presenting and shit, I do kind of understand why a lot of niggas feel the way that they feel when it come to females. <laughs> I really, really do. And it, it might sound I see why crazy, niggas be going I, gay. I, I, I see why niggas be going gra- gay. I see why they be going crazy. I see why I they, see they want to be with their homeboys. Facts. I see why they rather be with their homeboys. Like, they not even it. gay hanging with their homeboys. They want to hang with their homeboys because their homeboys ain't on their ass Facts. by some bullshit. And they keep, they why keep on their mad? <laughs> like, this, this, this be my thing. This is my thing. Okay, I get it. Granted, I want to talk about every day, all day. But every single second of the day, yeah, at nah. some point, I want some me time. Mm-hmm. If I can't get me time, and I like to go to sleep. Thank you. If we work, <laughs> we grown and said if we both work. We got other responsibilities. We got other shit to do. I gotta smoke my weed too. Yeah, I have to make a slot for that for me. And sometimes I like to smoke by myself. And I have I'm to. Like, I don't I smoke to. by myself. I don't so want to smoke with me? nobody else all the time. You feel <laughs> me? So it's like I just need that window. I need that two hour window a yeah. day, and they don't understand it. In no relationship, they will never understand it. They gonna th- they gonna swear that you ignoring them, you hate them, da, da da da, or you just forgot. And that's why I probably like I ain't gonna say until I get married, I will never stay with another female again. Like for real, for real. Like, and t- I ain't gonna say until I get married, but until maybe until I'm get serious, a little, until I'm, yeah, until it get like way way serious. Like I was always at a point where like when I was in a relationship, ever ever since I'd have been grown, like when I'd get in a relationship, it depends on the situation. But we'll probably move in together. I have never been in a relationship since I've been gone that we have not stayed together. For real, mm. for real. Never. Like, honestly, I have never been single for a long amount of time. For real, for real. For like, real? dead ass. Like, from the time when I was young till I can think, till, till when I started the dating. The longest for real. I've been single, like, and actually single, like, to myself, not talking to nobody, was like maybe seven years. For real? And yes. nobody believed that I was not talking to nobody. Damn. They kept saying, like, oh, you lying, you lying. No, I don't even want to talk to you, bitch. Literally. Sorry. Like, <laughs> Sorry. After. After um, yeah, shit. It, it's I always was in a relationship. Like even when I was talking to dudes and shit. Like I ain't never did no one to do. I don't want y'all to think I'm holding no shit like that. Well, shit. Won't be holding. Yeah, it doesn't even matter. I don't care. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, don't, yeah, I, I don't even care. But even when I was talking to dudes, like when I got our relationship, I ain't gonna say I immediately jumped into the next. But like it was always somebody on the back burner. You know what I'm saying? I always it's had somebody. Always, on, rebound, always somebody. somebody on the back burner. So for, even when I started talking to females and shit. One lead, about two more come. Shit, it got That's worse. How it worked. It honestly it, got it worse did. when I it when did. I started talking to females. They the thing, was coming like this. Yes, and and nine times out of ten, you don't even have to go and pursue nobody. N- they gonna come to you once they figure out like, yeah. oh, this motherfucker not fucking with nobody. Yeah, da, 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 they, they or whatever flop. they doing, they gonna they are gonna flock. So like, I was never single for a long time. Even when I tried to be. I think the smallest amount of time before I really started like taking care of myself, myself, mm-hmm. like the smallest amount of time that I got, I was single was maybe three months. So after uh, my baby mama, the girl that I raised a child with, uh, I was single. After her, I said, hell no. Nah. I went into a healing journey because that was my last, I ain't going to say that was my last toxic relationship, but that was the one that I was like, okay, something got to give. Somebody needs Yeah, like, I got shit. I got to stop doing That's this That's the shit. next question now. Yeah, like, so I w- after her, I was single for a year and a half, and that was the time that I was literally talking to nobody at all. I went fooling with nobody. Like, it was just all about me, for real, for real. I was just working on myself, and then after that, I moved back here. So I definitely yeah. wasn't talking to nobody because I wasn't fooling with nobody. Yeah. I just got back. Just moved back to the city. Yeah. I end up, the last girl that I was talking with, talking with, I end up meeting her at my old job. And that's how I end up fooling with somebody else. That was that. And that relationship lasted literally seven months. I got out of some toxic shit. 
to get to, into some to, more stuff. Yeah, to heal myself, to get back in some toxic shit. But that's that was the motherfucker that beat me up in the bathroom. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Count your fucking days. Hell fucking yeah. <laughs> Shit. But that's what I'm saying too. Like I had to realize too, the reason why relationships or situations wasn't working for me was because I was approaching them the same way each time. Yeah. Well, not necessarily the same way with that person, but I was approaching it with the same mindset, mindset each time. Yeah. And that shit does not work. Mm-hmm. That shit does not work. Mm-hmm. It does not. Especially coming across a motherfucker with a different personality like I'm quiet. I don't want to talk sometimes. Yeah. But a motherfucker don't want to talk all the time. It's different. And that's that's me too. You just got to learn. I guess you just got to learn the person that you're fooling with because, I mean, that's kind of like me. Like, I don't want to talk all the time either. I, I, I can And I'm okay with sitting in the room with you and being quiet. We can facts. be in the same room. Exactly. We can cuddle and everything, but I just do not wanna want to talk. talk. I will, like, I ain't, I'm just using this as an example, like, I ain't saying I ain't want to talk, but you remember like last week when me, you, and Nikki was riding in the car and y'all was talking and I was just sitting there quiet. Yeah, Hell, I ain't had nothing. I just. But you seen what I said? Yeah, though. it's after work. Shit, we chilling. Yeah, that that was it. It's like different. sometimes I get these spells where I just don't want to fucking yeah. talk. Yeah, um, and it ain't nothing wrong with me. Maybe I just want to be quiet. You know what I'm saying? Cause I you just still be chilling. Laughing, shit. You yeah, chilling. Just chilling. You know it's I'm just saying? that moment where you already in your head. You just want to chill, vibe relax, and process. And you didn't you kick kick your feet up and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the moment. That is. That's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah. I always need this slot, though. Mm-hmm. I need this slot. Yeah. Okay. 328. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. well, you got yeah. something else you want to add? We finna head out, y'all. Yeah, it's time to go drink, man. It's time to go drink. This was a good show, though. I like this. This was, this was it. I love this one. Hey, yeah. let me tell you something. Every Friday, go have a drink. Every Friday. If y'all don't do nothing else, Especially go if you ain't got drink. no job and you ain't got nothing to do. Because that's what we ain't got. A <laughs> job, nothing to do. Not yeah, today, anyway. Do. You're right, right. But she is TK. It's your girl, TK. Man. And it's Nate. Y'all already know. I hope y'all enjoyed this episode. This is season three. And we're going to see y'all on the next one. We'll be back. Yes, sir.